Vice Minister, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. And those of you who have been paying attention will have uh, learnt by now that this is indeed the fourth New Directions conference that the British Council has held uh, in East Asia. Previous conferences, again, those of you who have been paying attention, were in, can anyone tell me? Beijing? <laughs> Tokyo and Seoul, thank you. So why did we choose Vietnam for the fourth New Directions conference? Well, first of all, Vietnam is a country of great international attention at the moment and increasing international interest. It has incredible economic success and it also has great education success, for example, in its very impressive PISA scores. It is also, as our ambassador just mentioned, uh, a very beautiful, very hospitable uh, country and a nice place to spend some time. And I know all of you serious assessment people will attend an assessment conference anywhere in the world, but it is noticeable that when you hold a conference in a nice place, you tend to get far more people attending. Finally, but obviously most importantly, as we've heard this morning, Vietnam is about to embark on an incredibly exciting and visionary review of how languages are taught in this country. And again, I stress all languages, not just English. And I'd like to thank the Vice Minister and the Ministry of Education and Training and uh, our friends and partners at Project 2020 for their exciting vision, their openness, their indeed their desire for international collaboration as they go on this journey, um, and in particular support this conference. They have understood that in order to reform effectively English and other language teaching uh, in country, you need to look at all parts of the system. So many of us tend to fall into the trap of just thinking lots and lots of teacher training will make teaching uh, better. I know I don't have to preach the converted here, but it's great to see assessment being at the heart uh, of the Project 2020 project. Supporting the effective learning of English is at the heart of what the British Council does, and many of, for many of you, it will be what you associate with the British Council. But I'd like to touch on briefly that it is part of a very rich collaboration that the British Council and the U indeed the UK has with Vietnam. We currently, through the UK's Newton Fund, have developed a, a large number of collaborations in scientific research between the UK institutes and uh, their uh, counterparts in Vietnam. We have shared the UK's experience in developing social enterprise and our own creative industries with Vietnam as it develops its own laws to support social enterprise and its own creative industry strategy. And together we are developing quality systems for vocational education and looking at frameworks for higher education across ASEAN with our EU partners uh, in a project to get greater standardization so we can get greater collaboration uh, between higher education within uh, the ASEAN countries and the ASEAN community. I sincerely hope that that collaboration, all of that rich collaboration, uh, continues between the UK and Vietnam. Finally, I am told that autumn is not only a beautiful time to visit Hanoi, but it's also the subject of very uh, many Vietnamese songs. Uh, this is apparently the season of romance, it is uh, a season of literature, and it is a season of past memories. Over the next two days, I am not going to promise you romance, uh, but you're very willing to take it if you can find it. Um, however, I do hope that we will see many good partnerships and collaborations, new partnerships and collaborations coming out. I hope there will not be too many references to academic literature, but I'm sure there will be many. Um, but as ever, we hope New Directions will be focused on the practicalities uh, of assessment grounded in, in strong uh, academic uh, belief and understanding. Um, but on that final point, memories past, 
Many of you are here to share over the next two days your memories, your experience, your learning in assessment. And I hope through the sharing of those memories past, we create for all of us many new memories for the future. Memories of having had a, hopefully a good time over these two days, but also useful memories about each other's experiences in assessment, which will help you and guide you and your learning and practice in assessment as you go forward on your assessment journey. Thank you very much.